welcome along and welcome to Stone Valley, where we are starting a brand new survival series. This is American Survival, and we are starting with absolutely no money. We've got a TLX with quite a few hours on it, so this is not worth a huge amount of money either. And we're going to have to build our way up in this series. Try and create ourselves a farm and see where we go from there. I think initially we're going to have to do this using a uh, using contracts. We've, we've got no other way of earning money at the moment. The other rule I've got on here is we have no loans. So we can borrow absolutely no money to do anything in this series. Everything has to be earned. We can lease equipment, but we cannot we cannot borrow money to buy anything like land or anything like that. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, this series. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with our first contract. Uh, there's one other thing that I want to say about this series. And this idea came from one of my live streams. We have... Something new happened with this series. I am going to be placing on the number plates and on the placeables and uh, anywhere where I can name stuff. We are going to be naming it after members of the patron. So uh, congratulations to Flupper88. Uh, your name is on the number plate of our TLX. Um, you have been chosen at random for our first vehicle. So as we go through this series, I will be choosing names from the Patreon at random, um, specifically from the producer tiers, uh, in order to uh, to name vehicles and bits. So uh, yeah, uh, congratulations to you, Flupper88. Right, let's head into here. And we do have a cultivating contract. We have two contracts. We've got a fertilizing contract with manure. We have none of that. Um, and we have a cultivating contract on field 17 for 40,909. It's going to cost us 8,727 for this. So we are going to borrow the equipment for that, uh, which should produce it up here at our shop. And this, this will get us started. The farm I want to get and what we're aiming for in this series at the moment is up at the top of the map here. Field 25 is one of the cheapest areas on the map. We are using uh, precision farming on here, so it's a good yield on here as well. It is £131,000, though. Or $131,000, I should say, because uh, we're in America. Although I'm keeping the pound symbol because you can't set the uh, currency per game, unfortunately. Uh, and it's too much trouble to keep switching between them i just keep forgetting so uh yeah i'm going to i'm going to say it, it, it's it's uh, 131,000 dollars uh to purchase uh field 25 with the farm that's on it so that is what we're aiming for at the moment as far as i can tell there's no other farm on here that's a bakery yeah there's no other farm on here that comes close uh there's a couple of cheaper areas down this bottom corner here but I think somewhere with a farm on it is a good way to go. So that's what we're aiming for, especially with that yield potential. So, uh, yeah, let's start earning some money and uh, and cracking on with this. Uh, we are running under the sort of general realism rules that I now run on all my series. Uh, so things like uh, productions, we need to be selling anything that is... Uh, which is perishable um, once a month. And so, uh, yeah, any if we get any chickens or, or have any greenhouses, uh, items from those need to be sold once a month. And then, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the big one. We also now have the brand new released uh, uh, fuel filling mod. So you have to get out of your tractor. The tractor has to be turned off. Your vehicle has to be turned off in order to use it uh, and, and in order to fill it up. And I think that is going to be an absolutely a cracking mod for realism in my various gameplays. Now, we're headed to Field 17, which is just here. It is a fairly large field. You can see it here with... Uh, we've got some nice odd shapes in this. 
So my plan basically is to use GPS and do this side of the field first, uh, work our way across and then do the top half is what we're going to try and do. Uh, we've got a really big piece of kit on here and this should be doable today. So uh, I'm expecting things to work out fairly well for us. Uh, one of the nice things I think about this series, especially for uh, the contracting stuff, is we're going to be able to use some pretty big equipment. Uh, and that's going to be a really, really nice change from what I'm doing elsewhere. Let's drop that down. We will set our first waypoint like so and head up the field. And yeah, we want to get this uh, field done really as quickly as we can. I'm going to find the right gear in a moment. There we go. Right width. That's all the way. We'll drop down until we find a gear that hits at about 20, uh, about 2000 RPM. There we go. Gear 13. We are sailing. So what I'm going to do is leave the headland at the end of the field, uh, at each bit of the field. Hopefully we won't necessarily have to come back and do it. I think the contract might complete without it. Um, but we should be able to get ourselves lined up and, uh, and do this fairly realistically as a result of that. So down with this. And uh, yeah, it should should do fairly well. If we do need to do the headlands, we can come back and do them. But uh, at the moment, I'm expecting us, especially with a field this size, to not need to do them. One mod I've got on this series that I really love is the Active Contracts mod at the top of the screen. It allows you to track the progress of your contracts without having to go into the contract screen all the time and see how far you are. So we're 10% of the way through this contract and uh, and it's showing that and then showing the progress at the top, which is really useful for something at a glance and, and allows you to just keep track of where you are with everything really, really easily. I had hoped originally that we might be able to do a harvesting contract on here to get started unfortunately fs22 seems to have this weird thing of just setting all of the ready to harvest fields to harvested within a couple of minutes of coming onto a map and starting a new save it's a really really odd one um however we do have a lot of fields around on here that are very close to harvest so we are moving to two day months after this day and uh, my hope very much is that next time we might be able to get into a harvesting contract it would be very lucrative for us early on to get into a harvesting contract if we can do that uh, that's gonna give us another sort of 50 odd thousand with some of them and that should allow us to uh, very easily get uh get a good amount of way towards uh, buying uh some land and and getting ourselves established and and not having to stay in town uh while we are getting set up now i'm also going to keep a close eye on here on the used vehicle sales we can see actually there's a john deere s780 uh which for 100,000 which is just absolutely bonkers straight off the bat um with uh some good options for other stuff um but we're gonna look out for tractors and things in here we have a wide array of uh case and john deere tractors that are available on here for this series so my hope very much is that we are we are gonna have a maybe a little bit of a mix of those two on here. Um, but it's uh it should be pretty good, I think, in getting us established with some smaller stuff that will allow us to um to do our own farm while the bigger stuff is the stuff we end up using in contracts. Quarter of the way through the field, and things are beginning to get a little bit fiddly. We've got an area up there that's that's carved out. Uh, in a rectangle but it's this uh 
area of green across the field here where it gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're going to pick up the cultivator and drive over this area um, and then try and put the cultivator down the other side. It gets a bit difficult if I do otherwise. Um, but what I'm what I'm basically going to do is try and get to the, the bit where the field sticks out. Um, at which point we'll head over to the far side uh, of the field there, move our way back uh, towards this side, and then we can do the top half of the field. So if I can manage to get this, uh, this section here filled in, I think we'll do fairly well. To be honest, I think we're going to lift at this point here. So lift there. Uh, we're going to go across here, but there's not much I can do at this point because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put that down. Turn and get onto my next line. And then we want to place this down around about here. And then we're going to lift over the green. So watching it here, lift. And then when our other side gets just the other side, we drop it down again and continue on. And that will work out fairly well for us for uh, doing a little bit of headland around there. We're making really, really good progress right now. We aren't even... Uh, we're not even at the point where we're, we're looking to move to the end of the field to get the rest of it done and then move into the top half and we are already at a third of the way through this contract and this is the fiddliest smallest section of the field so uh i'm really quite happy with this this is great progress and should mean that we get this easily done today uh it is 10 to 1 in the afternoon but it's august so time will uh we can go fairly well into the evening to get this done and uh and yeah this tractor and this piece of kit is working great it's one of those worrying things where you take on a contract of a field this sort of size and you take one look at it and it's sprawling and you go i'm never gonna get that done in a reasonable time and you get into it and you're absolutely fine in fact at the end of this bit here uh, it looks like we're gonna reach that central bit so, uh, yeah, we're going to move to the edge of the field over there and then start working our way back across the field so that we uh, start filling in the top bit. I think it won't be too long before we're two thirds of the way through this field. So with the fiddlier part of the field done, uh, we're now nearly, uh, what, two fifths of the way through the field. Uh, what I want to do here now is to try and keep things flowing fairly nicely so we're going to take our tractor up to the other side of the field over here and sort of the second row in so we leave a bit of headland to uh, come drive down uh, we're going to start filling in the top uh, or this this large bit of the field here so basically breaking the field into three sections to try and make it work as well as possible. So if we have a look at our lines, you can see that we're over on the edge there. So I want to carefully swing this round and position us on this one instead. So leave that little gap at the side of the field that we can come and work our way back down. Right, and then set me myself up. And away we go. And now we've just got these long, long runs down this field that is going to take us less time than we've done already, uh, simply because we've got less turning around to do. The weirdest bit of this field to do is going to be that bit between those two tree lines there. It's just going to be ridiculously hard to get in between those two trees. Or those two sets of trees. With such a big piece of equipment like this. I think it's going to be a headland only area. And it looks like there might be a bit of farm or something in there. Yeah, it certainly looks like there's a farm in there. 
Let's see. Can we buy just that bit? No, that's part of this field. This field is 1.7 million to buy. So, yeah, this is not one we're going to be buying anytime soon. Although, the amount of crop you'll get off here would be ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. It just twists and turns between those trees. And there's a barn nestled in there as well. That is uh, that is definitely something that we're going to be doing as part of uh, any headland work we have to do to complete this contract. So uh, it's not going to be too bad. We've been stuck on 43% for quite a while uh, on this run. So I don't quite know what's happening. In fact, there we go. It's just ticked over to 44%. I'm uh, I'm intrigued as to how much more we need to get done to get halfway through this contract. I think in this series, there's several ways we can go. Uh, we're looking at, as I said earlier, trying to get some harvesting contracts and trying to sort that out and, and bring in some cash that way. Uh, if we do that, we'll probably be able to or we'll probably be delivering to a production. And it's very possible that, that a production might then be affordable to us to buy. So um, that's one way we could go. Another way we could go is we have a few options tractor-wise. So I've got some tractors in here, some fairly classic ones in mods. Uh, specifically, we've got uh, this, the John Deere uh, 8760, which is a 300 horsepower tractor. Uh, that is only 80,000 uh, at its base price. So uh, would be a fairly good tractor for us to do big contracts like this with. The other one is this one here, the John Deere 9X20. Again, uh, just over 100,000 for that. If either of those come up uh, available for sale as used, that's probably worth grabbing because we can then get a piece of uh, equipment like this and uh, and and do this kind of contract with that and it would save us nearly ten thousand pounds on that contract we'd make forty thousand rather than thirty thousand so uh, there's certainly that argument for that um one thing i think i'm not going to do on this series uh unless i uh, unless i have my own equipment to do it and there's a couple of big ones available to do this with is uh plowing contracts i think plowing contracts will just take forever on fields this size and uh yeah we will we will just never get them done in anything like a uh, a decent amount of time also i've just noticed we're over halfway through this contract we are still making really really good progress uh so um yeah and uh yeah we're about halfway through this bit of field too we're coming up to two thirds of the way through this contract it is quarter to five in the afternoon and well we're about to do the last strip uh of this this larger part of the field now this is really good because it has it means that we've planned this really well and it means we're going to end up at the far end of the field when uh, when we finish this larger section which is perfect because it just means that 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 less fiddly bit at the top end of the field is uh is where we're going to be positioned for very very nicely and there has been something a little bit weird happening i've noticed that the percentage has been jumping quite a bit as we get down to this end of the field and it does worry me a little bit that we might find that our progress slows once we get into working on that top section of the field but uh we'll find out soon enough we are well on track to get this done now and uh, yeah it's gonna go into the evening a bit but that's not a massive issue i don't think three quarters of the way through this contract now and the end is very much in sight we can uh, clearly see the barn that sits in the middle of this field and the edge of it is just over there it has just ticked over half past six in the evening but the sun has not uh has not gone too low in the sky so uh, i still think that this is going to be very doable today 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a little bit of money in our pocket for having got this job done. What we're going to do with this money, as I said, I, I want to have some input from you guys as to exactly which way we want to go. Uh, plan next time is going to be very much to see if we can get some harvesting contracts. Harvesting contracts, as I've said earlier, are, are going to be something that is going to give us a whack of money. And if I can pick up three harvesting contracts to do over the next two, three days, uh, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Having said that we got quite a bit of light, uh, it's now started to fade. We've ticked over past 7 p.m. I've got all the lights on on the tractor because, yeah, it is getting darker. It's quite nice, this tractor. I love the, the lights around it and, and how much it casts. But you can see uh, around the field, it's getting darker. And in fact, the moon is quite high up in the sky at this point. Uh, the sun is dropping behind uh, the yeah behind the wind turbines over there. So it won't be long before that's gone. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. We can uh, continue this into the evening. The, the one thing that does concern me is how much of these headlands are going to be required uh, to complete this contract. It, uh, it could be quite a, uh, quite a few bits. And, uh, and if that's the case, it, uh, it may mean that we take a little bit longer. But... Uh, one good thing about it is we know we've got some nice big straight edges across the top that should serve us fairly well and should be able to be done fairly quickly. Plus that really long section down the far side of the field over there that should work in our favour as well. And we've only got 22% of this contract left to go. Night has fallen here on the Stone Valley and yeah, it is... We are only 82% of the way through the contract, which, considering we only have one row left to go without doing any headlands, that is a lot lower than I'd expected. We are going to have to do a lot of headland, I think, in order to get this done, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a headland next, uh, start going around the field. Uh, we're going to... We've, we've basically got two wits worth, I think, of headland to do so actually no we're going to come back this way and go around the headland and and then come back again and uh, hopefully we won't have to worry about doing the the more fiddly bits around the other side of the field and can just do the headlands uh on the on the square a bit but we'll see how we get on um at the moment though it is uh yeah it's really weird we still have 17 percent of the contract left and uh yeah it's gonna be a big whack of the headlands in order to get that done so let's get the last strip done here and then i'm gonna go into the headland and we'll see uh how quickly it gets completed after that i've worked my way around the less fiddly parts of the field and we are still over 10 percent shy of completing this contract this last 20% has just been really, really difficult to get. And it's it's one of those old axioms that, you know, sort of the 80-20 rule, that the, the first 80% takes 20% of the effort, and then the last 20% takes 80% of the effort. And it does really feel like that on here. It's... It's been really weird seeing this last bit of the field. We were a good uh we were a good dozen rows out, I think, when we hit 75% and then just 15% is uh, is all those last dozen rows counted. And then uh, and then yeah, we've just got this really fiddly uh bits left on the headlands. Uh which kind of to be expected but i didn't quite think we were going to need to do as much headland as we are uh, it is 10 past 12. one of the nice things about this map is it's not quite so dark as some other maps uh, the moon is playing a part in keeping things a little bit light plus this tractor is definitely designed to work in this kind of light so uh, that's good news 
Where is the end of our field? There it is. So we'll line this up here. And uh, yeah, we're again, we're going to get most of the headland up here. I think it's going to be a fairly thin line. The other bit we've got to do, of course, is, is the other side of this hedge. That fiddly bit between uh, this row of trees and that barn that wasn't easy to get in earlier. I think doing, uh, doing between there is probably going to clear things up quite nicely as well. We're pushing for that final 5% now. We're up to 96% done uh, as we come in and try and do this uh, this bit between the trees here. I think this is probably going to make a big difference coming through here. The number kind of has been jumping as we've been uh, going around these headlands. And uh, yeah, 96%. Oh, is it going to go up again? Please go up again. Whoa. Uh, that's got round it. Forwards. There we go. Yeah, it's... <sighs> we are so close to completing this contract now. We just need these last couple of percent. Where, Where is it? This is far more than I expected to actually have to complete for this. As you can tell by the fact that it's 11 o'clock at night in-game. Right. Let's see if uh, we can get these last bit of headlands down here. 90. There we go. It's suddenly jumped from 96% to 99%. Wow. We do not have much left to do on this contract now. I just. Well, I'm going to do this bit here and hopefully this bit of headland here will complete this. And then we can head down to the shop. And uh, finish things off. There we go. Contract is done. Lift it up. Fold it up. And uh, let's get back down to the shop so that we can go and complete this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. To complete contracts, we'll head down to the shop and do it down there. So there we are. First contract done. And we're almost back at the shop. There we go. Clever Motors over here. I see our TLX waiting for us here. Let's bring this in. And just park it up. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, lots of mud on this. Oh, let's turn lights off. So all the lights off and beacons off as well. So, uh, yeah, let's complete this contract now and get our first money in in this series. 44,999 uh, minus 8,721. Uh, 27, sorry. Uh, means we're going to finish today with 36,274. Not a bad start. So, uh, let's collect that. Um, and our tractor is gone. So that's brilliant. I'm going to go and find somewhere in town to sleep for the night. Um, and hopefully in the morning we will be able to pick this up with a, another contract. Hopefully a harvesting one at this time. But certainly we are well on our way. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this series in the comments down below. And all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.